Yo, what's going on, YouTube family? Y'all, I had to throw in my two cents on this news-breaking story. I'm just hearing about it today. I think it happened the other day. Um, a Warner driver, a Warner driver, he was at the truck stop. I don't know which truck stop he was actually sleeping at, but um, he went to sleep in the sleeper and he left his door unlocked, which... It happens. We all know if you are a experienced truck driver uh, or if you are a brand new truck driver, all of us, all of us have done that before. Maybe gone to sleep, you get to a truck stop or you get to the parking area and you're exhausted from the day or from a night of driving. You're ready to go to bed and you, you know you just kind of close those curtains to block the windshield and you go in the sleeper and you're done. And you sometimes don't remember to lock the doors because most of these trucks, even the newer trucks, the ones that have a automatic lock on them, some of them you still have to manually press down the lock on the door to actually get the door to lock. This guy made a mistake. He got in the sleeper. He forgot to lock the door of his cab. Two guys opened his door jump in the truck they hold him at gunpoint force him to drive well i don't know if they forced him to drive or if they were actually driving because it didn't have a trailer he was just bobtail so they took the truck or they made him drive and of course it got out to the police uh the police did a uh high speed well i guess a low speed chase <laughs> with the truck and that, I mean, they put out the stop strips, they popped the tires, they tore that truck up. I'll place a picture of that truck here, but yeah, they destroyed that truck. And ultimately they end up shooting the two guys who had hijacked the trucker and they killed those guys. And from what I can see and from the news reports based on what the company released as well as news reports uh the driver he was injured so i'm assuming the driver got shot in the midst of all of this too the gunfire between the two suspects as well as the police uh, i think he got shot but i think he's okay this is what i've been saying about this topic and things like this that is happening and we don't even hear about it a lot of times we heard about this because it was a high profile type kidnapping drivers are getting shot at drivers are getting followed because of the cargo that they're carrying drivers are uh, dealing with a lot out here and guess what these trucking companies do not allow you to have any type of weapons in your truck to protect yourself they simply expect you to basically hold your hands up and hope that somebody don't kill you which coming from a person that's been robbed at gunpoint twice me uh man i would do anything to have had my hands on the firearm at that particular time so that i could have off the guys who did it they simply expect us to be out here doing this dangerous job hauling millions of dollars worth of uh, cargo in these trailers and people that want to get their hands on this cargo see us as an easy target because they know most of us 95 if not 99 percent of us are riding unarmed unable to protect ourselves i really hope this driver with warner takes legal action against warner uh it's the company's responsibility to provide a safe work environment for their employees so even you being in a truck remote, they are still responsible, not just not just to make sure that, that truck is in quality, top-notch running condition to keep you safe uh, mechanically and keep you from breaking down and harming somebody on the road because of breakdowns. They're responsible for your safety while you're in that cab as well because that truck belongs to them. That truck doesn't belong to you as a driver if you are a company driver. Uh, the truck belongs to them. And they make that abundantly clear when you complain about having driver-facing cameras in trucks. 
they make it abundantly clear that it's their equipment. They can do whatever they want to with it. With that same mindset, uh, it's their equipment. If you get hurt or injured or killed in the course of doing their job in your tr in their truck, and it's something like what happened to this drive, you end up getting robbed and you end up getting kidnapped and you end up getting shot. It's the company's fault. They're liable. The same way if you go to an apartment complex and you get robbed or shot at this apartment complex and it's deemed that that company did not uh, do enough to secure that apartment complex. They didn't have adequate lighting. They didn't have adequate security. And they knew that this area was uh, an area for crime. They could be held liable. I really hope that this driver, uh, I really hope that he legally goes after Warner. Something has to be done about these trucking companies. I've said this for the longest. Drivers should be able to carry. I know we get all this pushback when it comes to this. Oh, laws are different from state to state. Uh, laws regarding guns are different uh, from whatever state that you're going into from the state that you just left. I don't care about that. Leave that up to the driver. Leave that up to the driver. If he's going from state to state, it's his responsibility to make sure that he's carrying properly. It's his responsibility to make sure that he's operating within the legal limits with that firearm in whatever state that he's in. I've said it for the longest. Allow drivers, if you're a company driver, uh, allow these guys to sign a waiver, a release form, releasing the company of any uh, liability if you have to use the firearm. It's so many things out there that these companies could put in place to allow drivers to be able to drive out here and also to be able to protect themselves from something like what happened to these uh to this particular driver but of course we all know that the trucking industry they're all about safety until it uh affects their bottom line and when it starts affecting their bottom line uh safety goes out the door uh just like hiring 18 year olds to drive trucks so i feel for that driver hopefully he recovers i'm glad to hear that he wasn't killed or anything uh but uh, we got to start being able to protect ourselves. And let me just say this, as a truck driver, if you're not able to protect yourself, if you are not carrying or not having any type of weapon because of company policies, hey, follow that policy. I'm not telling you to break company policy. I can't have a firearm in my truck, so I don't carry a firearm, but I can protect myself if I need to. I'm just saying. You better make sure you got something to where you can deal with incoming trouble when it comes knocking at your door because you never know. You're in uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment. You have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars worth of a product in the back of that truck, in that trailer. So you definitely need to be on your toes. You definitely need to be able to protect yourself, man. And uh, y'all just stay safe out there. So... I love you guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'll see you on the next one. I'm Walter. Don't be offended. That's just our B2 Speaks. I'll see you on the next one.